Parts of Heilongjiang province are submerged after storms brought by Typhoon Doksuri pummeled northeast China. Record rainfall is causing rivers to break their banks, flooding entire districts and damaging roads and bridges. In neighboring Jilin province, helicopters are being used to rescue people trapped in villages. Authorities in China say more than one and a half million people have been moved to safety. We received notice that the flood was cresting on the river early on Friday morning, so we began to organize the relocation of affected residents at 4 a.m. All the affected residents have been transferred and resettled now. This is the fifth typhoon to hit China this year. Doksuri swept through the southern province of Fujian, affecting more than two million people and causing damage worth more than two billion dollars before hitting inland Beijing. Heilongjiang is one of China's biggest grain-producing regions. Authorities have sent soldiers to help affected areas. We've spared no efforts to support the local emergency rescue and disaster relief efforts. We've restored communication services in 16 towns and 267 villages that were out of contact, repaired 98 kilometers of damaged roads, evacuated nearly 13,000 residents, and sent 500 tons of relief supplies and medicines to them. It's a similar situation in Taiwan, where some mountainous areas are flooded. Heavy rain and floods aren't unusual in the region at this time of year. The typhoon season generally lasts from May to October. But with more extreme weather patterns that scientists attribute to climate change, scenes like this could become a lot more frequent. Victoria Gatenby, Al Jazeera.